Well, welcome to another adventure in Eddie's Greenhouse Garden. Hey, uh, today I'm going to do some starts. I'm going to plant some starts for okra. Now, it's April 1st today, so I have to do this in the greenhouse. And uh, because here where I live in northern Utah, I don't know what zone it is, five or six or something. I don't know. Anyway, it still freezes at night here. And okra does is a, is a warm weather crop, and I mean warm weather. I understand that it originated somewhere in uh, Africa, and they brought it over here, somebody did, and started cultivating it. And I further understand that right now, if you try to grow this in uh, the U.S. someplace, uh, you, you have to grow, grow it somewhere where it gets warm in the winter, like the southern state. I mean the winter, warm in the summer, like the southern states or something like that. And I remember, I remember reading something one time that said, the hotter it gets, the better they like it. Now, anyway, the other problem is, the reason I'm going to start some seeds here right now, there, there's really two problems with that. Number one, the seeds won't really germinate very well unless the soil temperature is around 60 degrees or a little bit better than that. Now I found that out the hard way because even though this uh, little grow area in the basement here was is about 60, 65 degrees, they did sprout but it took them a long time to do it and then once they did sprout I took them out into the chicken house and buried them and you know properly transplanted them and they just did not thrive and out there it was just too early in the season it got maybe up to 70 degrees during the daytime inside the greenhouse but at night you know it got down maybe 40 35 something like that they didn't like it and they died so i had to start over again so okra seeds they've got two pods I'm going to do this one first. Now, when they get good and dried out, the pods are real easy to break apart. So you just kind of pull them apart with your fingernail, or even you can just crush them. And they're very crispy, I guess is the word. And so what you got here is you see there's the seeds. And, uh, oops, I just flipped one on the floor there. Let me pour them out. You see, there's the seeds. And, uh, that's what they look like. There's two of them. Now there's probably a few dozen seeds in here. Let me just uh, crack all these. You can see them in there. Because it's so crispy, it's hard to crack this without flipping the seeds out. Well, I did extract these seeds, and they were viable, and they did germinate. And they did come up, but as I explained before, when I transplanted them out in the greenhouse, I think the weather was still a little too cold for that, so they did not thrive. They they lived a little while and started wilting over, and they finally died. But anyway, here's a little demonstration that you can see on how easy it is to extract or save the seeds from okra plants so that you can plant them again next year. If you can see this, you see down in this corner there's all that junk, but see all those? Those are uh, okra seeds, and they should be good. They should be viable. Well, it's the 24th of April today, and I planted some okra in here quite a while ago, and some of them came up, you can see over here. And I've counted eight of these pots are germinating. Eight have come up, and the rest, ha the rest of them haven't. So I've replanted some more uh, okra seeds in there today and watered them down, and We'll let these grow and uh, see when they start coming up. I think the reason that some of these may not have germinated is because in, at night it's, does, it gets in the 30s in here still. But during the day I've shut the ventilation off. And so it gets above 100, 110 sometimes. So that's plenty hot for them to germinate. But maybe the cold nights don't do anything that they like. So I replanted uh, a lot of them, and some of them came up and germinated, as you can see here. And some of them came up and really didn't do well. They didn't like it. And some of them came up and seemed to do okay, but they didn't thrive until about a month later when the greenhouse really warmed up. Well, take a look at my okra plants. Boy, they're doing pretty good. Uh, I can't remember when I planted these, but I'll, I'll put a little note on the bottom of the video to, to show you. 
But anyway, these are growing really good. This is in my old, old greenhouse. This thing faces south and it's got a nice uh, swamp cooler over there in the window that keeps it, you know, relatively cool. I think uh, it hasn't come on yet. It's on a timer. But it's 75 degrees in here right now and uh, it'll probably get, oh, Nine, uh, 85, 80 degrees in here, maybe maximum. Anyway, let me show you how these these uh, okra are growing. And today, I'm going to harvest the first one. Let me show you. Now, as you can see here, there's little pods on each one of these plants. See, there's a pod back here on this one. And there is a big pod here. And uh, yesterday, there was a flower here, I thought, and it disappeared, but... There's another one forming right there. Anyway, this is the one I'm going to uh, take off today, and we're going to cook that. And it's a little bit odd shaped. They usually get bigger than that, but but this one you can I can tell by the way it looks that you, know, you let that get too mature, and you know that's about right to pick through that one. You anyway, know, if you go along here and look at look at all these, see these all have pods, and once they start, see there's one right there, a pod right there. Once they start uh, uh, developing the pods, as soon as you see them, this only takes a couple of days before the pods sh uh, show up and they start uh, uh, maturing. So I imagine I'll be out here tomorrow or the next day picking more pods. But anyway, there they are. They're, uh, they're growing. And see, so part of my greenhouse thing how many how much food can I grow so I'll keep track of these pods and see how many I, I get boy are they doing well I have been picking okra I've started picking okra I think maybe I've picked uh, so far about five of them and you know chopped them or cut them up and ate them all oh, these are delicious but let me show you how well these are doing a little uh, review on what I've done here this is just a tray full of water it, it's recirculating, so there's a drain right about here that uh, the water drains back to a sump, and it comes in up there. You can see that water coming in. It goes down here, and it uh, drains down at the end, and then it drains back this way. Anyway, so it's a floating raft, or but there's no rafts in it. There's flower pots, and these work quite well, uh, I have found. But anyway, let's show you. See, see all these. Uh, see, those are okra pods. And there's some more okra pods right here. Okra pods down there. They're all over the place. And all these plants are producing okra. And the okra pods, are, they're doing quite well. See, here's another one in there. But this is kind of to show you that uh, okra thrives in this uh, kind of environment. Now this is what I call hybrid, meaning it's not aquaponic, it's not hydroponic. It's kind of like a, it's an aquaponic because that's fish water, but it's only flower pots, you know, just kind of sitting in it an inch or so deep. That's about it. But you know, it keeps the, uh, and I, it keeps the uh, water or the uh, soil moist. And when the uh, roots go down to the bottom and get into the water and they come out of the sides of the pots, um, these uh, okra plants really like that. And I'll show you. A little better example of one that is actually in a floating raft system. They seem to like that even better, or just the same. So we'll go down and look at those now. Well, here's the example of one that's in a floating raft system. And as you can see, there's no dirt in here. This uh, green stuff floating on the top is uh, duckweed. <laughs> but as you can see, that's just plain water. And these are floating in it. I don't know if I can lift that. Well, maybe I can just lift that up a little bit. You can see the roots under there. See that? So they, they thrive in this uh, environment as well. And these were planted a little bit later than those. And uh, so they're basically starting to have their pods for them. And I imagine in a couple of days I'll be out here harvesting these. Now, there's only two of them here. But still, it's a good example that they grow in aquaponics I guess hydroponics would be the same thing they grow well but they need to have warmth they, they don't survive they don't thrive at all if it's not warm a quick little uh, progress report on how the 
okra is doing here in my uh, south greenhouse. And uh, as you can see from the last report, the okra plants are a lot bigger than they were. And they're producing a lot of pods. See, here's a nice, nice pod right there. I'm going to pick that one today. And as you see along here, look at the size of these things, how they're above this uh, other grow bed back here. Let's see, lots of pods growing on these. And uh, seems like those pods, when, they, when you first see them, like when they're about this big, it's just a day or two when they're ready the next day to be picked. See, I, I harvested these yesterday another flower coming out and uh, so there's see this this one here is half ready but uh, anyway okra is really really good but I think it has a flavor of, of like sort of like sweet little tiny bit sweeter green beans or something something like that or peas see, there's another one right there we're gonna pick that one and uh, but some people don't like, there's like a slime on it. You know, if you ever have like chicken gumbo, the uh, the gumbo part, I understand, comes from okra. So it thickens soups and things like that, but a lot of people don't like it because it's kind of slimy, I guess. But anyway, and that's the okra and it's doing quite well. So this this is really a success. The biggest lesson I learned was don't even try to plant okra until the ground is very warm and, and actually the climate is very warm. If it gets a little cold, even at night, like, and when I say cold, I'm talking 50s or 40s Fahrenheit. If it gets that cold at night, it'll really slow the growth down and your uh, outcome won't be so well. But if you wait until it's 60 or higher at night or and during the day it's maybe a hundred, uh, something like that, you'll have much, much better results.